Well, good day, smart traders. I trust each and every one of you are ready for another profitable day within the market. Let's kick things off by having a look at today's economic calendar. Today's economic calendar promises to be an exciting one, with three significant reports being released simultaneously. The Canadian Inflation Report and the Retail Sales Month-on-Month Report out of the USA, along with the Core Retail Sales Report, are sure to create some disruptions in the markets today presenting fantastic trading opportunities for our traders. Let's move on by having a look at what's making headlines within the financial markets today. Speaking of disruptions, did you know that the Turkish Lira sank to a near record low, while the Thai baht rallied after a more decisive election result? We also have news that the dollar fell from a five-week high, while the US House Speaker warned that time is running out to resolve the debt ceiling issue. However, there is still hope for Washington to get past partisan wrangling and reach a debt ceiling deal. Now let's take a look at what's making headlines on Wall Street. U.S. stocks slouched to a higher close. While all three major U.S. stock indexes ended green, market participants appear to show little conviction as first quarter earnings season winds down, leaving few market-moving catalysts, aside from a disappointing Empire State Manufacturing report from the New York Federal Reserve. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 0.14%, the S&P 500 gained 0.30%, and the Nasdaq added 0.66%. Moving on to commodities, talk of output cuts is beginning to influence trading in U.S. natural gas, which rose almost 5%, nearing the trigger for what could be an extended rally in America's favorite fuel for indoor temperature control. While oil prices rose a dollar a barrel after three straight sessions of declines, boosted by the prospect of tightening supplies in Canada and elsewhere, although recession fears kept pressuring the market. Wildfires raged in Alberta, Canada, shutting in large amounts of crude supply, and prices rose on fears they could worsen. In the midst of all this, let's not forget about gold, which rose but later retreated, as a slew of Federal Reserve officials warned that interest rates could still rise further amid relatively high inflation and a robust labor market. Despite this, gold retained its $2,000 support, with safe haven demand for the yellow metal remaining underpinned by fears of a U.S. economic slowdown this year. Now, we know you've been waiting for it, so let's dive into our technical analysis for the day. First, we'll take a look at GBPCAD, followed by S&P 500 analysis, and lastly, crude oil and gold analysis. But before that, don't forget to like this video and comment on the giveaway question to stand a chance to win a limited edition branded mug. And of course, make sure you're subscribed to our channel to be eligible to win. The question is, if a currency increases in value, it is said to have, is it A, amplified, B, grown, or C, appreciated? The giveaway will take place once we reach 300 subscribers. Terms and conditions apply. Now onto the technical analysis. GBP CAD is currently trading in a bearish rectangle formation. Should we get a break and a close below 1.683, we could see a decline back down to that previous support. The S&P 500 is trading in a relatively tight spot with a break and a close below 4,115 potentially triggering a decline and a break and a close above 4,150 potentially reigniting a rally. Crude oil he's currently trading just below that minor resistance level with a double top formation in progress, a close below 71 could trigger a decline back down to those previous low points. However, a break above the resistance with the close at 71.8 could reignite that rally back up to 73.5. Gold is currently hovering just above that primary support with a close above 2020 potentially triggering a buyback up to 2030. However, a close below 2009 could potentially trigger a sell-off back down to the bottom of the channel. So that is it from us here at Smart Online Trader. Should you be interested in any additional services that we offer, kindly get in touch with us or simply click on one of the links in the description below. As always, may the post be with you. Cheers.